Hello! Good day everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and of course the bell button para updated ka sa aking mga next video. In this segment, these are intended for those person who are using Moodle Classroom. Okay? For those professors who are using Moodle Classroom. In this segment, I will be teaching you on how to import your courses materials to other courses materials. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Say, for example, meron kang isang subject pero tatlong sections ang tinuturoan nyo. So, normally, yung ginagawa natin is manually, we will encode each one of them manually one by one. But, in this video, I will make your life easier. Okay? So, kaya, tara, umpisahan na natin ito. First step is to log in to your Moodle account. Number two step, select the course that you want to be uploaded or to be imported. Okay, for example, itong organic chemistry. Okay? Na subject na natin import from other materials. First step that you can do is to open that course na gusto nyong i-import. Then, please click I turn on editing on. Okay. So, click nyo lang yung editing on. Then, click yung menu setting. Okay. Then, after that, click the import button. Yung makikita nyo yung may import dyan. Okay. Yun. Hindi lang natin yun sila. So, magsiselect tayo ng subject na kailangan nating import. Say, for example, Paul, itong PC Clean Chem. 3A. Yan. Okay? So, yan. Select natin sila. Then, so, makikita natin kung ano yung mga dapat natin i-select. For me, I select all. So, just click the next, no? Para makita natin or ma-select natin yung lahat ng mga details na kailangan natin i-select. Okay? Next lang. Okay. So, in this segment, makikita ninyo lahat ng mga Uh, details kung anong meron doon sa kanya, no, is automatically selected. So, for example, mga mga details kayo na hindi ninyo gusto, you can automatically un uncheck it. So, say for me, for example, hindi ko gusto yung mga other details na i-import. So, easily, automatically, i-uncheck ko lang sila. So, isa-isa, i-uncheck lang natin sila isa-isa, no? para hindi na naman sila masali doon sa ating importation ng mga documents kung anong meron doon sa kanila. Okay. Then, next. Okay. Next lang. Okay. So, in this um, scenario, makikita natin lahat ng mga documentation details. Okay. So, kung mayroon kayong gustong import pero hindi nyo nakasana, you can nakasali, you can also review it. Okay? Then, after that, next lang automatically. Okay? So, yan. No? Successful na ating importation. If you want to change the date ng inyong mga activities, you can also change it by clicking the edit settings. Okay? Yung edit settings na yon. Okay? So, i-click nyo lang yan siya para ma-change nyo yung inyong date na kailangan yung ma-change. Okay? So, yun. So, As you can observe, na import na natin yung lahat ng mga activities no in an easiest way. Hindi na natin kailangan pang magkuha ng mga activities para i-manual include natin yung mga activities natin sa ating courses. Okay. So in this video, mapapansin niyo, you can select no kung ano yung gusto niyo i-change, say for example, the date of restrictions. No, na kailangan nating i-change kasi iba yung date ng kabilang sections natin compared sa ating sections ngayon. Okay, so yun. I-change lang natin sila. Then, save. So, after saving, automatically, yun. Makikita na nila yun. Okay? So, yun. It's very simple. So, hindi na natin kailangan sila isa-isahin upang matransfer yung ating mga details, no? Yung ating mga activities from one course to another course. So, it's very easy na lang talaga. Okay? Okay, so if you have questions about Moodle account, okay? Just don't forget 
to put your comments down below sa ating comment section. And please, subscribe pag hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe. And please click the bell button para updated ka sa ating next video. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye-bye!